Hello, hello, Scorpio family. How are you doing today? This is True, your girl, and this is Mark After Me, my channel, where I'm going to guide you today in a new journey, my Scorpio. So I created a little blend between life coaching questions with tarot reading and astrology cards. I really hope that this is going to be quite helpful for you. I am actually a life coach and a dance coach too, which I do my best to push and inspire and encourage people to actually take the responsibility in their lives to make the to create the lives that they wanted or to pursue the dreams that they really want to build. Whatever this is going to be in their mind. But anyway, Scorpio, thank you so much. Check your Ascendant, your Venus and your Moon. Just in case this card, this reading is not resonate, you're going to have a lot of empowering questions. So this, I'm going to say it again, is going to be the introduction of empowering questions. So I will start with the card who's going to make you a question. Three cards of tarot reading and card of, um, astrology card. So let's start it. I think that I repeat myself. I'm really sorry because, you know, I think Mercury is playing with my words and my mind. And I think sometimes I don't say things and I repeat it again. But anyway, let's have fun. So we have the first question is going to be, let's have the first question will be, what does happiness mean to me? That's a big one, Scorpio. Because... We know that all of us want to have that happiness, you know, accessible all the time. But I might to say that you sometimes have this slight insecurity towards another people that don't make you happy. Even if you more if you're in a relationship when you are bonding with another person for whatever reason, you become insecure. And that push you down your own power and make you less happy. So be careful what, where your energy is going towards and what is the definition for you of happiness. So I'm going to see what is in tarot reading for you. Say the first card is the nine of pentacles reverse. Oh wait, one second. We was talking about relationship, we were talking about everything. This card normally, like this, is saying everything about independence, uh, as someone who actually don't need help for anyone to have their own wealth and also can help other people. It's kind of like a self-entrepreneur, but when we have it reversed, it's totally not the opposite, but actually gonna say that you are quite needy. And it's not bad, but once that you are needy, you can become dependable and manipulative and in and quite clingy and quite drowning down because you don't know how to ha balance yourself alone and you are quite scared to balance yourself alone you depends your own well-being or your happiness and your life your dreams you put in pressure for another person to fix it to help it to you know to push you up because you don't know how to do it yourself. And this card is saying in reverse, it's saying too much dependability, too much outside to the people, too much um, putting responsibility outside you, which have to be more inwards. Let me see what's in the present, but I have to say, if this is your, if he's, I'm resonating with you right now. Don't be scared and don't be mad at me if you're not resonating. You always can check out other videos. What I'm trying to say is if you already think that your happiness is in other hands is when you need to be awake because you are the one who has to bring happiness from yourself alone. Not from anyone else, no people, no situation, no houses, no material, no jobs nothing you have to be the one who bring happiness to your own life so then you can share with someone else but this here when you have in the past which is the recent past probably is like a few days ago a few months ago nothing very far away or maybe it's a pattern who's been far away but it's affecting you more and more now is because you didn't change that pattern to be more dependable to your own happiness for life because you give it to another person. So what I'm trying to say is don't give your power back. Take the power, even if it's a scary, put your power back. Let me see who's in the present. Oh, there you go, strength. Talking about power, baby. Talking about uh, bring back the goods. 
that is a clear example to say you are strong enough. A strength is a Leo card. Leos are self-centered and also are one of the signs who actually share their shine, their bright with another person, with another people, also inspire people. For that gonna be when I see the strength card right now and is in the present, I do think that you have to highlight and work in yourself to be less chaotic, less dependable to another person. Not even chaotic because I don't think that you are chaotic. The thing is that I do believe that you are intense in your emotions and you want to have that desire fulfilled that you don't want to take the responsibility and unconsciously you send it to another person and you really really want it, what is actually happens is gonna drag you down. So try to take the strength and try to do this only you yourself by less interaction with people and understand that you have to do this alone even if you have help from another people don't put from another person or family or whoever a member of the family father father whatever it's going to be don't put on them that pressure take the pressure because it's your strength let me see what's in the future magician there you go oh my la la we this is increasing Magician, you are more than ready. You are gonna make it happen. So You are gonna become independent. You're gonna become more and sure to yourself more self-reliant more uh, Even if you're intense and deep emotional that doesn't matter because you can actually be with whatever you want it and with whoever you want it But regard the guarding with this question to say what does happiness means to me is telling you Happiness is all depends of your actions and all depends how strong you are to be not alone but to be independent to stand up by yourself without say to anyone or without being the shadow side or be behind someone like put yourself in the front and shine by yourself Scorpio, we know your nature, sometimes you are in the shadow side, we know that you are Pluto energy, we know you are secretive and mysterious, we know that. But it's something, sometimes in, the, in a point of life, you have to be strong enough to light by yourself, to have your own light and not let anyone else to shadow you or be you scared to show up your own intense light. I do don't have to, like you don't have to be afraid. Check this Leo energy, just see a little bit of the archetype and then you're gonna have the magician and the magician is telling you like you have every ingredients to make the cake <laughs> the cake, you have the, every ingredients to cook what you really wanted to do and you're gonna make it happen because the magician is actually a motion car it's the first, it's not the zero, it's the number one who is actually the first step, it's gonna be the best movement I think it's a really nice time for you to understand what is happiness for you and come back the power for you like from your hands that is my power the happiness comes from me it's really strong that because you become independent to another people's emotions and you will make any kind of things that you want to make happy for you let me see what astrology say they say conjunction empowerment please babies you have to say that it is pretty empowered right now. Even if you are doubting yourself and you think that you cannot live without, without the, the, the help for another people, let me tell you something that you can. It's just the matter of the time to believe in your own light that you can stand up, stand, stand up for yourself. You can. And say, look, conjunctions say, enhance, strength, join forces, activate, intensify, um, saturates, overwhelms, they say concentrate. Conjunction uh, is one of the most powerful aspects in astrology which uh, means union but on the same time meet empowerment as these cards say and uh, is you are lucky. This is one of the best positive things that you can do. So everything is pushing you in a way or in a journey of self-discovery, of uh, self-remember who you are and everything remembered you to say be independent, be strong from yourself, don't give a credit to another people of your own 
effort. Make your own effort and make it your own. Don't use another people and don't let another people use you either. I don't think that you use people to be honest, but you are so good in, in emotional psychology that can probably you try to get whatever you wanted unconsciously from another people. What I'm trying to say is avoid any kind of relationship like this because it's going to bring you over and over again the same. You need something different. So you have to start with something different because it's nothing fulfill you for now. And if the happiness is something that you are a little bit um, scared about it, you're a little bit worried about it, I would say happiness comes from you, don't be a worry about it, you have the strength card in the center which say you always can choose to be strong and independent, all right? So I hope you like this video, please thumbs up, share this video, comments below, let me know if that resonates with you and if don't resonate with you, let me know too and check the rest of the videos. Thank you so much, this is true, I love you guys, subscribe, share, and bye-bye.